a long time ago, a little guy named David wasn't given much of a chance against Goliath. The Auburn Tigers aren't given a real shot against their arch rivals today. The experts say the chance of an Auburn upset are somewhere between slim and none. But David shocked the ancient world, and Auburn has a chance to set the football world on its ear today as they take on Alabama in enemy territory. At stake in the heart of Dixie, bragging rights. Hello again, everybody. War Eagle from Bryant-Denny Stadium on the campus of the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa with Stan White and Quentin Riggins and the rest of our Auburn Network crew. I'm Jim Fife, prepared to bring the annual football feud, better known as the Iron Bowl, to you. The Crimson Tide, not eligible for postseason play because of NCAA sanctions, has put together a nine-win season. Auburn will play in a bowl, but the injury-riddled Tigers' main concern is the Crimson Tide and how to overcome their heavily favored rivals today. Cooper Wallace checks in as the fullback ahead of Smith in the eye set. There's a play fake to Smith. Campbell's going to air one out long downfield. Got his man at the 40, the 35, the 30, and on to the 28-yard line. Anthony Mix, beautiful fake by Jason Campbell, Gerald Dixon on the tackle for Alabama. A long play of 46 yards, and Auburn is first and 10 at the Alabama 28. What a beautiful play call by Bobby Petrino, bringing out his tricks on the first drive. Third and short, play action fake by Jason Campbell. Beautiful fake to Trey Smith. He had Anthony Mix one-on-one -on -one against Gerald Dixon. The post route, perfect throw, Jason Campbell to Mix. Shad Williams checks into the Alabama backfield. Ray Fulgham is also back there as they run the offset eye. You set it down for Watts. And in motion from the wideout spot. Here's Watts running the option pitch to Williams. Williams sweeps to the left side, and he is really belted as he crosses the 35 and gets out to the 39-yard line. Traveris Robinson up from the secondary, and I mean he unloaded on Shawd Williams. Alabama with a four, now a five, six-man front. Slot receiver to the right. Hand off to Trey Smith. Tries to bounce to the outside. Smith in the clear. He's at the 45, the 40. He's at the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Tripped up from behind inside the 15 at the 12-yard line. It was Herschel Bolden who ran him down and just grabbed him by the ankle as Trey Smith bursts for 51 yards. And Auburn is first and 10 at the Bama 16. There's no joking about that play, my friends. That was smash mouth football, a heavy set. Two tight ends on the right side, the wide side with two backs. Trey Smith off right tackle, cut it up for 51 yards. First down inside the 20. Here's the shotgun formation. Campbell has it. He looks downfield. Campbell steps up at the pocket. Throws an open receiver near the 10. Big Robert Johnson sidesteps a tackler, cuts it in, and there he goes. Touchdown! 15 yards for the score as Campbell caught Johnson coming across. And did you see the move he put on the defender, Charlie Pepra? He just was able to leave him in his shoes, uh, out of his boots, if you will, and cut it in from the near side. And Auburn is on the board. And that started with the protection up front by the offensive line. Good job making a pocket. Jason Campbell hits Robert Johnson right on the drag route, and he just fooled the defender, McKay Losher, in the flat and went in for the touchdown. Big play right there for Auburn. Get up by six. Here is Duval to try for the point after touchdown. Snap, spot, good. It's seven to nothing. Auburn leads Alabama with one tick under six minutes in the opening period. Three plays, 67 yards in just a minute and 25 seconds. All at the right hash mark. Motion by Sam Collins back toward the ball. Here's Watts on the option, rolls to the right, and he is buried behind the line by Reggie Torbor. Torbor went right to the core of the play and hit him behind the line for loss of five. And that's exactly the way you play that option. Reggie Torbor coming off the block off the end, running the option to the wide side, gets outside to snuff Tyler Watts out. Dontarius Thomas was right on Santonio Beard to take the pitch that had nowhere to go third and long for Alabama. Hood lined up back at the 15 in single safety. The snap is about knee high. Bearden gets off a wobbly kick. Rolling to the right side, Hood looks for some room. 15, 20, 25, weaves his way 30, 35, the 40, 45, and he's upended at midfield by the punter Lane Bearden. A great return of 36 yards by Roderick Hood. 
Boy, and the Alabama fans are cheering Lane Beard and their punter for making the tackle, but you know, they forgot Auburn's got the ball at midfield. A good return by Roderick Hood right up the middle, turns on that speed and almost broke it for six. Without Bearden making the kick of the uh, hit, he's still running. Second and seven at the Alabama 30. Campbell has five wideouts, three to the near side. Ball at the far side hash mark in the shotgun. Campbell has the snap. Rolls to the right, throws upfield. Omamano has it. Omamano at the 25. Dodging a tackle at the 20. Come to the near side. Goes inside the 15 and fights on to about the 13-yard line. A gain of 16 as Charlie Pepra is the tackler on the play for Alabama. Good play by Jason Campbell. He stepped up in the pocket. There was a heavy rush by King and Moorhead on the outside. Jason Campbell steps up, hits Obamanu on the dead run across on the drag route, keeps on carrying Pepper down the sideline, gets down inside the 15-yard line, first and 10. Campbell in the shotgun. Second down play. Calling for the ball. Alabama showing blitz. Campbell takes the snap over the middle. Wide open receiver at the goal line. Robert Johnson, nobody around. He's got it. Touchdown! Everybody on the Alabama defense was totally fooled out of their shoes. Do you think there was a miscommunication on that defensive play? They brought an all-out blitz right up the middle, left Robert Johnson, the tight end, wide open. No one covering him. Jason Campbell, ball time, laid a beautiful lofted pass over the middle. Touchdown, Auburn. This crowd is stunned. And for the most part, silent, except those down in the south end zone, and they're wearing orange. Damon Duvall to try the point after touchdown. Only 15 seconds left in the quarter. Duvall kicks. It is good. And Auburn leads 14-0 near the end of the first quarter. On third down, here's Watts. Tight end in motion. Watts has the snap. Looks to the right. Throws a pass. Knocked down incomplete. Beautiful defensive play by Roderick Hood. Cut in front of Triandis Luke and knocked that one down. Boy, it looked like Roderick Hood made a terrific break on that, and if he's a half a yard faster, he is going for six the other way. Tyler Watts threw a long, wide side field, an out route, Triandis Luke. Roderick Hood did a good job breaking on it and batting the ball down. Campbell in the shotgun, nobody in the backfield, second and 11 at the Alabama 45. Campbell has it. He's in trouble. Sidesteps a man, rolls to his right, going to run. Yes, he will, to the 40. He's to the 35, heads to the far side of the field. The 30, still on his feet, stumbles on into the 25 and maybe the 24-yard line before he is dropped by Herschel Bolden. 20-yard gain as Campbell saw the field opened up, and he cut to his left, and Auburn is to the Alabama 25-yard line. Boy, and what a play by Jason Campbell. That's where he's so dangerous. And Devin Aroma should do. Made a great block downfield to spring Jason Campbell to help him get another 10 yards. Damon Duvall is going to try a 40-yarder. 43 is his longest for the soccer-style kicker. Let's go to hold. Not much of an angle. There's a snap, and the kick is away by Duvall. It is up. It is good! 40-yard kick by Damon Duvall, and if memory serves, that's his fourth field goal without a miss here at Bryant-Denny Stadium. He had three two years ago as Auburn won 9 to nothing. Right now, the Tigers lead it 17 to nothing. Third down from the shotgun. Here is Campbell setting his offense. Takes the snap, looking downfield, has some time, throws over the middle, passes, pull down, caught inside the 40 by Marcel Willis, and he's down at the 39-yard line. That's a bullet by Jason Campbell, a gain of 13, first down Auburn. Good play by Jason Campbell and Marcel Willis. They rushed three guys, got pressure up the middle, dropped eight. Marcel Willis, the inside slot receiver, doing the deep square in, 13-yard gain, first down for Auburn. Third and 11. The ball at the 39-yard line. Nobody in the backfield with Campbell. McIntyre comes out of the slot and is a wing back to the left. Four seconds on the time clock. Campbell got to run a quick play. He gets a snap, and he looks to the far side. Pass is caught, and breaking away to the 50, the 45, the 40, to the 35, and on down to the 33-yard line is Marcel Willis. 
Campbell threw it out in the right flat, and somehow Willis got away. That was a great check by Campbell. He saw a weakness on the wide side. He checked and left um, Jarris McIntyre in to block for him. He kept the wide receiver in. He had Marcel Willis on an out route. Marcel Willis cut it up, went down the field, 29 yards. Good third down conversion for Auburn. Auburn will be first and 10 at the Alabama 32. Watts is going to drag his man in motion off the right flank. Going to fake and uh, pitch to Shad Williams. Rolling to the right, and he's pulled down by Carlos Dansby. Looked like they were going to hand off to Zach Fletcher on that little end around, but instead he pitched behind him to Williams, and he lost five yards on the play. What a play by Carlos Dansby. He actually made Tyler Watts pitch it after he faked it to the wide receiver. He committed to Tyler Watts. He's so fast, he came off to take down the speedy Shad Williams. Terrific play by number 11. Here is Collins coming in motion. Watts has the deep snap. And the throw out in the flat is complete. He, it's going to be not enough for the first down as Shad Williams is forced out of bounds over on the far side. Great Auburn had play. a well defense. Great play. You know, Tyler Watts, he threw like he was going to a hot receiver on that. Carlos Dansby came on the outside, and Tyler Watts, I believe Carlos Dansby was his hot read, and it forced him to go to the check down to Shad Williams out of the backfield. But Horace Willis and company would have none of it. Mark Brown right there to take down Shad Williams. Big play for the Auburn defense. Auburn will have the football at the Tiger 42. They lead it 17 to 7. Watts under center. Straight eye in the backfield. Watts is going to send Collins in motion off the left flank. Watts going to run the option. He'll roll to the right. He'll turn it upfield. Did he get his first down? It's going to be close. I don't think he did. Oh, what a spot. Oh, he got a break on My the My gosh, he got a spot to the 40-yard line. Sure that did. is he incredible. He never made it to the 40. That is, that is the worst call we've seen today. That is a horrible spot. Now, I may be seeing this wrong. Mark Brown on the tackle. Alabama keeps possession. They ran a loaded option to the wide side. You hear the boos from the, the Auburn fans. And the from the Auburn crowd. That is a horrible spot. The replay shows I, he never made it to the 38-yard line. That is a horrible, horrible spot. I cannot believe that one, folks. Third and about one. Croyle has it in the shotgun. Looking downfield is Croyle. Forced out of the pocket. He's dropped. They sack him. And uh, fumble the football. And uh, Auburn claims they've got it, but they'll award it to Alabama. Spencer Johnson on the sack. There's the deep snap. Croyle looking. Croyle is hit. Down he goes. Mark Brown got him. Sacking him back outside the 45. A loss of 10. Good play by Mark Brown coming on the stunt. Auburn is continuing to go after Brody Croyle. Good job. Good calling by Gene Chiswick. Mark Brown comes right off the end and just floors Brody Croyle. Big loss. It's down to cases now. Fourth and 20 for Alabama at the Auburn 46. Coyle has it. Coyle looking. Coyle looking. And he's going to throw long downfield. This one is intercepted. Intercepted by Carlos Rogers at the 14-yard line with 3-12 left to play. Sam Collins, the intended receiver. Rogers cut in front of him, and there's that turnover that Auburn had not had until now. That is it. Carlos Rogers, they did a fake pump. He would have none of it, wanted one-on-one, -on -one, and Carlos Rogers, he climbed the ladder and went and grabbed it down and got Auburn a possible victory here at Bryant-Denny Stadium four times running. Now I notice Jason Campbell as he heads out to the Auburn huddle, still a little gimpy. Auburn first and... 10 at the 12-yard line. Fourth down and about seven. Coyle looking, looking throws, passes tipped away. It is incomplete, and Auburn is going to get out of here with a win. How about those Auburn Tigers? Unbelievable. What a defensive effort all day long. The offense came to play in the first half, but that defense, you can't say enough about it, and the orange and blue are letting them know how they appreciate that old-fashioned Auburn defense coming to play in Bryant-Denny Stadium today. Oh, my goodness. How sweet it is, as Jackie Gleason would have said. 52 seconds left. And who would have thought it? Well, we I guarantee you one thing. The newspaper folks didn't think it. Las Vegas didn't think it. I think 99% of the population of the state of Alabama didn't think it. 
I was not sure of it. But, but like you said, David defeated Goliath. Absolutely. We're down to 20 seconds in the game. And folks, it's time to paint Tuscaloosa Town orange and blue. Campbell got the snap, dropped down. This game will be over. And ladies and gentlemen, the Auburn Tigers have come to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. And they have defeated heavily favored and highly ranked Alabama by the score of 17 to 7. Let the celebrating begin. What a victory right here. The, the players are going down to their fans, letting them know they appreciate them sticking around. Just a big, big victory. Kind of reminds you of two years ago, Auburn coming in here, getting it nine to nothing as Monrico Crittenden grabs the Auburn flag and waves it at midfield. What a what an outstanding atmosphere in Auburn to come in here and do it. Stan, this is just almost inconceivable to me because Auburn in the face of the worst possible adversity. Look at all the players that could not play. Look at all the injuries they had. It was a patchwork offense that Auburn put on the field today, but they got the job done. That's all they did. They were on number four tailback. They, had, they did not have a fullback. Cooper Wallace, Trey Smith, 125 yards. Jim against the best defense in the country, the number one, and came in here and won 17-7. Not one person picked us to win. Not one person gave us a chance. Just our fans and ourselves. Guys, that's what you're doing with the hard work and emotion, believing in what you're doing. Great job of the coaches, great job of the players. Last year they said we quit. I don't think they're going to say that this year. We took it to them for four quarters. And when we leave here, I want you to go back out there and get them fans going. They're waiting on you out there. They're waiting on you. They're your fans. Go let them know. Great job, guys. Great job. Yeah. Well, you know, I knew we had some injuries. We had some guys that had to come out and really step it up. Our fans were behind us, and we believed in ourselves. And, you know, we were the only two, two groups that were together that believed we could win the game. It was us and our fans. And we did a great job, and credit to our coaching staff getting a good game plan. Yeah, no one gave us a chance. You know, we went out and had a good week of practice. We'll see the results. So. It's always exciting to come over here because you know they fans, they're going to doubt you, they're going to throw stuff at you, they're going to curse you, they're going to fuss at you. Hey, when you come out with a victory, two, two guys out of three years? Oh, man, that's awesome. You know, the coach is saying that it's not, you're not an offense, you're not defense, you're not special teams, you're just a team out there today. And I think everybody came out and did their part and just really, it was a great team effort and a good offer win. It feels too good. Last game, Alabama big win. I'm speechless. we got to fight it up. Auburn, we have fighting us. I mean, when one goes down, when our family members go down, somebody else has to step up, and we know that. And that's what we did. Everybody said that we didn't have a chance to win this game. They said that we weren't going to be able to run the ball on them. They said we were going to have to pass the ball on them, and they also said we weren't going to win this game. You know, they didn't give us a chance. We just came out, played hard, you know, did what we had to do to get the job done, and the scoreboard showed. Oh, yeah, great win, great feeling, great way to go out as a senior. Yeah, they didn't give us a chance. They had number one defense in the country. We had our third string tailback, but you can't you can't measure heart. Number one defense and all that stuff don't matter. We had heart, we went out there and did what we had to do with our fans and our teammates. What time is it? Game time! What time is it? Game time! Are you ready? Are you ready? Ha! Ha!